Hi, my name is Aliyah Tejeda. I'm the New York Fields Organizer for the National Latina Institute for Reproductive Justice. Hi, my name is Ana Flores. I'm the Communication and Public Affairs Specialist. National Latina Institute is really focused on policy change, narrative shape, and community-based shaping, and they really do that in this beautiful trifold approach that is the best to really educate the community. Our New York Leadership Circle is a group of members who are dedicated to the work that we do at the Latina Institute New York. I am Ana Orozco, I'm a native New Yorker. As a member of the Leadership Circle, I engage with Latina Institute, other members of the Latina Institute, and have participated in workshops where I've learned a lot about reproductive justice, and also I've helped to facilitate some workshops, making some connections between reproductive justice as well as other social justice issues and movements. My name is Kati Obando and I am a proud member of the New York Leadership Circle. Right now, I, as a proud abortion provider, I, I thought I was walking the talk of reproductive justice just by my nine to five, but in my further research and further, further studies, I recognize the fact that reproductive justice means so much more. It means the ability to advocate for having kids and then parenting kids in a safe and healthy and equitable environment and it's just so much more and I'm just so grateful to the Latina Institute for helping to open up my eyes and and helping me to grow in my reproductive justice work. Living in Texas I have always been used to some of the harshest abortion restriction bans in the nation and being in New York has been a little bit eye-opening that even in a place as progressive as New York City there are still a lot of barriers to care. Anti-abortion centers you can find throughout the United States, but they do live in New York State. Oftentimes people imagine that New York State is this safe harbor when it comes to abortion accessibility. Abortion may be legal, but is it actually accessible when people can be confused by anti-abortion centers that locate themselves close to legitimate clinics as well as anti-abortion centers in New York State outnumber legitimate healthcare clinics. At the Latina Institute New York, uh, we are so focused on culture shifting. Uh, we are community-led and we empower our Poderosas and our New York Leadership Circle members to lead us and inform each other and our community when it comes to the truths of anti-abortion centers or when it even comes to educating each other on what reproductive justice is. AACs, also known as anti-abortion centers, also are known as crisis pregnancy centers or helping centers, and we are really trying to use the word AACs because that's what they are. They are anti-abortion centers. They're in Spanish known as clinicas falsas. The way that these anti-abortion centers uh, market themselves is by putting billboards out in um, specifically immigrant communities. They tend to kind of like set up shop uh, near the close vicinities, either across the street or next door to actual legitimate health and reproductive health um, sexual services clinics uh, in order to kind of like divert patients from going in there and bring them into their anti-abortion centers. The Latina Institute does a great job of not just educating students, but parents and really the whole community so everyone is in the same approach together. At the Latina Institute New York, we also hold LOLAS, which is the entry level of our signature training. And even in the most recent LOLA, one of our Poderosas discovered that a place that she and her family have been going to for years, they were under the belief that this center was a legitimate clinic and didn't know and found out at that Lola that it was an anti-abortion center. And when we empower her with the knowledge on how to identify what is an anti-abortion center, she stops that cycle from no cousin, no aunt, no sister, no friend from ever walking into that establishment again. I would love more people to be involved in the Latina Institute. The Latina Institute is one of the many organizations that are necessary in the reproductive rights movement. The Latina Institute brings that lens of reproductive justice to the reproductive rights movement. The Latina Institute helps me to build power to continue this fight by 
helping me develop as a leader. I, I feel so empowered and so just motivated to get out there and keep speaking the truth, keep sharing knowledge, keep growing and, and feeling powerful that I can fight this fight. Let's be the rabble rousers that we are. In honor of our 30 year anniversary of fighting for reproductive justice, make a $30 donation for Salud, Dignidad y Justicia.